All right, so we've got a question from Jua. Uh, good morning. We are in the process of migrating from the local file server to SharePoint. So just clap everybody uh, that congratulations moving off the file shares. However, we are faced with the way in which the end customer will use it. Is there any client for SharePoint that the user can use? Well, that's a gentle slam, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Something similar to the OneDrive for business client and something more like the traditional file server. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Could there be something that would meet those criteria? That's what they're asking, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, absolutely, right? Um, so yes, you can sync anything in SharePoint uh, via the file sync, which uses the OneDrive for Business file sync behind the scenes uh, to your Windows File Explorer on your machine. I absolutely recommend that you do this with the uh, guidance of somebody who knows how that works. Otherwise, you might sync all your stuff and then you're gonna be a very unhappy camper. So, um, you know, do it for what you need when you need it in and out. But yes, you absolutely can do that. Yeah, what Sharon said. I can add one note to that. Um, SharePoint, having your files in SharePoint, pretty awesome from a security standpoint. The moment you start syncing them to workstations, they're, they're sitting on those hard drives. And then now you have to make sure your workstations, so those PCs, are equally secure. So keep that in mind. And then my final unrelated point, I was joking when I said web dev before, and if you don't know what that means, if you ever see a button that says open file explorer, run. Turn the other direction, don't click it. I love file explorer. And I agree with Max though. It's really good to use SharePoint if you possibly yeah. can. Um, it does give you so many more features. I know sometimes it's, you know, it's a change and it's different, but you know, even better, maybe use Teams. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It, I mean, it goes back to that question too, is like what, what kind of end user are you talking about? What's going to be their regular engagement? Uh, you know, uh, so a lot of end users, again, I don't know the, 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 what's happening within your organization, but if they're not using Teams, Teams really is kind of the, it, it's it, it's the interface for SharePoint that we wanted, that we tried to build for a decade. And then it came out with Teams and it's now the, the front end for all of that. I mean, a good portion of the back end of everything, all things Teams is SharePoint. And so it's a great way to, like I went in and was doing some stuff, had a list and had an issue with it. First thing I did is open it up within SharePoint and went in and fixed it. The interface though, for everybody that access the list is all via Teams. But I was, I got into, I was trying to figure out how to fix things in Teams. <clears throat> and then within two minutes, went over into SharePoint, knew where to go and look and fixed it. Yeah, I wouldn't say Teams is a 100% fidelity with that in SharePoint. So you're gonna be using SharePoint, whether you, want to or not sometimes but it's the palm olive moment you're already <laughs> soaking you in it <laughs> yes madge <laughs> i think if you want that kind of file centric folder centric view though which i know this is we know right this is what they want um i think if you're gonna if you were to ask me should i use teams or should i sync it to my computer I would 100% say use Teams. You're going to have a much better experience. It's it's going to work better. You're going to have less risk, less issues. Um, and you're still going to get that kind of file-centric experience that you want. Mm -hmm.